Hey guys, it's Andrea, and this is my first ever makeup tutorial. I'm super excited about it, so let's get started. I'm going to start out with a fresh face, and trust me, my face decided to cooperate on the day I filmed. It's not usually like this. And then with my e.l.f. mineral infused face primer, I'm just going to prime my face and my eyelids. And now I'm going to take my NYX Concealer in a Jar in green to cover up any redness I might have around my chin, nose, and my mouth. Next I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match Liquid Foundation in the color Alabaster with my Real Techniques Buffing Brush and I'm just going to buff this into my face in small circular motions. This gives you a more full coverage airbrushed look, but during the day I like to have a lighter coverage, so I mix my foundation about half and half with my moisturizer to create my own tinted moisturizer, which gives me just enough coverage and I can cover anything else up with concealer. This works well for me because I have normal to dry skin, but in the winter it gets especially dry, so this is a little extra boost of moisture. And make sure that you blend it down your neck so that you don't look like you're wearing a mask. If I have under eye darkness, I use Bare Minerals Concealer in Light 1 because it has a sort of peachy tone to it that helps cover up darkness. And this is a medium coverage concealer, so I wouldn't recommend it for anyone who has really bad under eye circles. And then I'm taking the same concealer in light 2, which is more my skin tone, and I'm covering up basically where I put the green concealer. And now I'm using this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush to blend out my concealer. You want to do this especially if you're going to be taking pictures because you don't want any harsh lines. The next step is to fill in your eyebrows. I'm using this Bare Minerals Brow Powder in Dark Blonde because it's just a few shades lighter than my hair color and an angular shader brush so I can get precise lines. I'm just lightly filling my brows in and then you will see me extend my brows because I like the look of long brows. I feel like it looks extra sexy if eyebrows could be called sexy. Now I'm going to contour with this matte um, Revlon Photo Ready Bronzer. And I really like this one because it has four different colors, so you can mix and match to get the perfect shade for each part of your face. For most things, I usually use a mixture of the top two colors. Make sure you blend into your hairline so it looks natural. On camera, this looks like it's so severe, but it's really not in real life, I swear. It's just because my lighting was a little off. This is, after all, my first makeup tutorial. Now I'm taking my Real Techniques contour brush and just shading the sides of my nose to really slim it down. And also I'm going to shade my chin because I feel like this makes your face look really sculpted and I don't know, I've just gotten the habit of doing it. Next, with my Real Techniques blush brush, I'm going to take NYX blush in the color Peach, and I'm just going to put this on the apples of my cheeks and blend it back into where I applied my bronzer. The key to natural looking cheeks is to shake off any excess blush because you don't want to have too much and look like a china doll. Next, it's time to prime my lids with this NYX eyeshadow base, and I don't particularly love this. It's less creamy than I'd like it to be and it's a little too dark for my fair skin tone but it worked here. <laughs> and then I'm going to take this CoverGirl eyeshadow in Champagne which is an awesome highlight color and I'm going to put it all over the inside of my lid and also on my brow bone. I wear this color practically every day and it is so shimmery if you put it on with your fingers. Then I'm going to take this NYX Smoky Look Collection, which has four different shade ranges that you could mix up to do a million different smoky eye looks. It also has contouring powders, blushes, and if you open up the bottom drawer, it has lip gloss, glitter, and also concealer. So 
So anyway, I'm going to take this dark brown color on a flat shader brush and I'm going to put it on the outer third of my eyelid and this is just going to add depth. So on a domed crease brush from e.l.f. I'm going to take this lighter brown color and I'm going to work that into my crease and it's going to help blend out that harsher brown color. I love this brush for in my crease. It's from the Essential Collection from e.l.f. so it's only one dollar. And last I'm going to take on my fluffy brush this light taupey brown color and I'm going to use it as a transition color to blend out the darker browns. To add definition to the lash line I'm going to take this matte black color from Lancome on an angled brush and I'm going to um, just press that into my lash line and it really helps if you dampen the brush first. I picked up this mascara from NYX and I just wanted to give it a try in this video. Um, I'm really used to my CoverGirl Lash Blast brush which is plastic and um, I'm not really into the whole natural bristles thing especially if it's a curved brush so you'll notice I get this like all over my eyelids but I guess I cleaned it up in the end. Um, yeah, so I'm going to apply this to the top and bottom lashes, and it's supposed to add extra curl. Then I'm taking this NYX eyeliner in jet black, and I'm going to line my waterline and attempt to line my tight line. If anyone has any good tips for not making your eyes water like crazy when you do your tight line, please leave me a comment. I would so appreciate it because I always have like tears running down my face and I ruined my makeup. I'm setting my brows with this clear brow gel from Bare Minerals and then I'm going to add this NYX lip balm. It's tinted and it smells like raspberries. I love this tinted lip balm because it adds a little bit of color um, but it's still like nude um, and it's moisturizing because I suffer from dry lips and most lipsticks and things are so drying that it's such a relief to find a product like this. So I forgot to highlight, so now I'm going back with this Lush Feeling Younger Skin Tint, um, which my boyfriend actually bought me via gift card. Um, so I was trying to get him to come in the shop, but he didn't. Anyway, I was just highlighting the tops of my cheeks, my chin, and down my nose. And this gives a really nice golden highlight. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my first ever makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I think it's nice for daytime, um, and you could also amp it up for nighttime with a more bold lip. Um, so please subscribe for more videos coming soon, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs> You're in it. Yeah. Damn, girl. <laughs> <laughs>